What's up guys, my name's Brandon and I've been running iOS 13 Beta 5, which of course is the same as Public Beta 4, for all of this past week. And I wanted to give you guys an update on how the software has been running on my iPhone XS Max, my iPad Pro, my iPhone XR, and also the iPhone 7. So I've used my iPhone XS Max and my iPad Pro every single day since the release, but I've also mixed in some usage with the iPhone XR and the iPhone 7. So I just wanted to share my thoughts, talk about some of the features that I missed in the original video, the battery life, the performance, all that fun stuff that you guys care about. So before we get into all the nitty gritty details about the performance, the battery life, and the bugs, let's talk about some of the new features and changes that I did not cover in my initial What's New video. So a lot of you guys have actually been requesting videos on the iPad Pro, so we're going to talk about some iPad Pro features first. I'm just going to casually sit this right on top of my iPhone screen without a screen protector. But anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is slide over. So now with slide over, we now actually have the ability to swipe over in two different ways down here. So you can see I have multiple applications open, and we can slide both left and right instead of just one direction like we could in previous beta versions. Also on the home screen you'll notice that I have three pinned favorites right here and that's because you can now pin more than two favorites. You can actually have I believe an 